Francis, great to be here in Etobicoke Lakeshore to say we're going to send Doug Holliday to Queens Park as our next MPP. And let me tell you what I like about Doug Holliday. And while well, I twisted his arm a little bit to get on board our team and take him away, where he's done one hell of a job as deputy mayor. Why we need him at Queens Park. And this is a guy who understands how hard people work. He's the kind of guy that respects every tax dollar that people send to City Hall, to Queens Park, to Parliament. A respected municipal leader, a family man. His wife, Frank, and we appreciate all of her support and being part of this team as well. Doug has been a champion for fiscal responsibility. He's been there to help negotiate tough but fair deals with the unions that taxpayers can actually afford. He's the kind of guy that stands up for taxpayers and makes sure he watches every bottom dollar. Folks, to get Queen's Park cleaned up and Ontario back on track, I need somebody with backbone. I need somebody with leadership. I need somebody who knows how to get the job done. Doug Holliday will get that job done. So we know Doug's record at Queen's Park. We've seen, we know his record is going to be at Queen's Park. We've seen what he's done at City Hall. He's cleaned up that mess. So what have we seen from the other guys? What have we actually seen from the McGinty and Wynn Liberals? Well, just the opposite. Taxes have gone up, all kinds of money wasted. A Liberal Party that's only interested in putting their own political interests ahead of the interests of taxpayers. A party that's chased jobs out of our province and put our province deep in debt. Their reckless overspending has doubled Ontario's debt. They made us a have-not province. And we're last in jobs and first in debt when we should be first in jobs and last in debt. And the NDP? Well, all they do is they complain in the morning, but in the afternoon they prop up the Liberals and keep that gravy train going. Friends, that's why we need Doug Holliday. It leaves us. We have one choice, one party, one plan to turn things around. That's Doug Holliday and the PC Party of Ontario. Because like me, you believe we deserve a better province of Ontario. We deserve a stronger Toronto, a stronger Etobicoke, where people have good jobs to go to, where they have a chance to climb the ladder and get more take-home pay, and where government respects the taxpayer and looks out for their best interests, not their own political skins. Fact of the matter is, we can't do this alone. We need your help. We need your help at the doors. We need your help on the phones. We need your help getting people out on voting day. Because people in Etobicoke Lakeshore have a very unique opportunity to send a message when it comes to Liberals, enough is enough. We can turn this province around. We can have a stronger, more prosperous province of Ontario. But to get there, Etobicoke Lakeshore needs Doug Holliday. Toronto needs Doug Holliday. And the province of Ontario needs Doug Holliday. Ladies and gentlemen, your next MPP, Doug Holliday. Okay. Well, thank you very much, Tim. Uh, I just wanted to thank Tim uh, for putting me in this uh, great position. <laughs> what, what, I, what I would like to say, though, is, is when I look at Queen's Park, I see the same problems that Rob and Doug and I saw at the City of Toronto when Rob got to be mayor. The financial spending was out of control. There, there were no, no lids on anything down there. And uh, money was flowing out all windows and all doors, and it had to be stopped. It's not that we're looking to not look after those who need help. We are. We're just looking to stop the waste of tax dollars. And it can be done. It just takes a firm position and a strong group to do it. I think Tim Hudak is the leader to do that. I think we need to get a, a strong group and a, and a lot of more MPPs to, to make this happen. But I think we can do it. And I think we, with your support and your help, we can make the, uh, the Lakeshore the first uh, seat in Toronto. And I hope it's going to be the first of many. And once we've done that, I think we can turn the province around. It's a big job, but it can be done. F to, the, to the voters in the Lakeshore area, to vote for the uh, Liberals this time around is condoning what's going on. And, and, and it's, it's just not understandable. It's not, it's not condonable. And it shouldn't have gone on, but it has gone on. And if you're okay with this kind of spending, I guess vote for the Liberals. Because we're not going to do that. I guarantee you I'm not going to be on any government that's going to be anywhere close to doing anything like this. And I know we're, that we're going to straighten this out. We just need an opportunity. And I want to thank you all for coming out today. I want to thank my wife, Franca. I want to thank my old-timer hockey friends and the rest of you all for coming out here, the Fords and Tim and Bernie. And let's go get them.
very excited to have Doug uh, Holliday as our as our candidate. He's an experienced and uh, uh, honest politician. He's proven his uh, ability to work with people uh, at City Hall uh, on more than one occasion, and uh, so we're just delighted to have someone of his quality and stature uh, to represent us here in Etobicoke Lakeshore. Doug has been uh, mayor of Etobicoke. Uh, he's been 30 years in the uh, in the municipal political uh, arena, and uh, he's all his life he's fought for frugal government, uh, protect the taxpayers' uh, uh, money, and it's it's well identified uh, throughout the city of Toronto.